All right, this is Kyle with 5-Minute Guide, and today we're going to get into UV mapping on the uh, Tony Stark's house. Uh, first thing we're going to do is these uh, side pillars here. So first thing, um, select the pillar, go into edit mode, hit A to select everything there. All right, and then you're going to hit U, and we're going to go unwrap um, light pack, uh, light map pack. And we'll just do the standard whatever they have there. And right here, this is your your viewing screen, like how how the layout is set up. We're going to switch that to UV editing. All right. So what we have right here is transferred over right here. All right. So what we got to do is go to image, and we're going to open an image. And let's go to wherever you store your images. Mine's in stock photography. And for those, we're going to go with 345. And open that image. And it's just uh, concrete. It looks a little orange. If I zoom out here, you'll see. It's not actually as orange as it's looking right here. So, but there's an image of concrete. I'm gonna zoom this out a little bit. Um, so what we're gonna do is come over here and we're gonna select, sorry, go to face select, and we're gonna select this face and this face. If you if you look right now, we can go to textured. And you can see that it looks really big and grainy and we don't really we don't really want that so we're going to select both of those faces and then over here in the uv mapping we hit s for scale and we'll scale those up a bit all right and then you look back over here it's kind of evened out a little bit um it's still a little much but it's manageable so then we move on to the next one and we just do the same thing we did with that We'll hit A for all. We'll unwrap, go lap, or lap, light map pack. Um, and we'll go this little arrow thing here. We'll select that photo. We will come over to your 3D window, select those two faces. You hit shift to select multiple faces. Come over here. If they're not already highlighted, hit A to select those. S to scale. We'll scale those up. And tab to go back to object mode. Select our next pillar. And so on and so on. And All right. So next thing we're going to do. Select, go into object mode, select the, the main house part. And then tab to go into edit mode. We're going to get added textures. We're going to go solid. And we're actually going to select this little button here to make the whole thing go solid so it's not see-through anymore. We're going to select the edge, one of these edge pieces here. We're going to hold control. And we're going to click with the right clicker. Oops. Oh. <laughs> oh, I selected something else. Get out of that. Okay. So, sorry, go back and do that. We're going to control and click along the edges here. Make sure we don't hit a pillar again. All right. So, make sure we have all these things done. Now, we're going to unwrap those. And this is important with the light, the light map pack. I can never say that. So, we want to use the light map pack because um, I'll get to that in just a second actually all right so image we're gonna open image and this time we're gonna use a different a different image this time we're going to oops, we're going to use the concrete with border which I made in my gimp tutorial so if you're curious how I did that which you know it's pretty simple um, 
but basically it's just concrete with a simple border around it. Um, nothing fancy. Um, but with the light map pack, <laughs> apparently, um, when it unwraps, it unwraps everything in perfect squares, which is awesome for this uh, specific tutorial. Because um, I'm going to take this, I'm going to scale it up, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag one of these squares over this uh, this image. So it fits almost perfectly. I'd like it to fit perfectly. I don't know if it's going to actually fit perfectly. That's actually pretty close. That's actually pretty, that's pretty good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it there. All right. And now when we go over to object mode and then textured, you can see that there are lines in between them, separating them. Kind of like there would be if there was a crack. So that is like that. All right, so now um, we can do this top part here. So, oh, let's go there, oops, wrong button, shift instead of control. So control really saves you a lot of time in this one, um, in this program, sorry. Uh, so, we're going to do the same thing. Um, we have all these top ones highlighted, unwrap, light map pack, okay and let's do concrete with border. Even though they're angled and whatnot, they still come out as perfect squares. Well, okay, I say perfect squares, I mean perfect rectangle. They, they're not really, you know, angled at all. Uh, same, same thing. Alrighty. And go textured, and yeah, and it's not not perfect. Um, like I said, this is kind of this is kind of a rough job, um, but you can take individual pieces. Um, you can take like this piece here, and you can just hit G. You don't even have to look to where the mapping is here necessarily, but just hit G, and you can tweak it just like so, and then. Yeah, you go into object mode, and you know it's a little bit better. Yeah, you can you know tweak it again. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, you can do that with all of them if you want. I mean, if you really wanted to make it look perfect, you'd do that with each individual one, and you'd probably have the border be like a little bit thicker. Um, it seems like it's a pretty thin border, and that's what's really um, being the the problem here. So next time I think we're going to work on, you know, maybe finishing up some more concrete and putting in some glass. Um, so yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll probably, we'll probably put in some glass next time. All right. So thank you. This is Kyle, the five minute guide. Um, if you found this tutorial useful, uh, please subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment in the comment area below.